I'm in my closet, not planning on coming out. Anyway, welcome to Chatterbox, Dhwani's YouTube channel. Now, you must be wondering where is Dhwani? Unfortunately, she cannot make it today. She's busy, very busy. She's cleaning or sleeping or something, one of those things. So, you're stuck with me. I am Coco, not Chanel. Soon to be better than that though. Now, let me introduce myself since you guys don't really know me. I am Coco and I'm working on my business, which I'm really working very, very, very hard at. I'm setting this up, grounds up, laying foundation, laying seeds. So I'm a proper businesswoman. You might be seeing me whenever Dhwani is tired or busy. I might be coming up. Now, while I am setting up my business, I also have what they call, or my parents call, a real job, a real day job, like some of you may have. And that day job is necessary, though I'm a businesswoman setting up my own business, business, minding my own business, I am doing this day job to pay the bills. And we're going to set up and then use the day job's money to go forward. Anyway, so I'll be honest with you. I'm going to be super honest and transparent. I don't know if the money is with you. I'm going to be telling you how it is for me to be working from home doing this day job. What is work from home like? All honesty. Now, before we start, I know you have a couple of questions, burning questions. I can just see that it's on your face. I'll answer it before. Why am I wearing the Steve Jobs dot neck? Well, that is because I'm headed for the top, right where he is. Okay, I mean the top of the business world, not where he is currently. But anyway, now another question that I think I'm going to anticipate is why am I wearing these sunglasses inside? Uh, stay tuned in to know the answer. I will probably drop that in in between. Now let's go back into how is working from home? How is it? It sucks. Let's be real. It's not great. It's not fancy. It's not pretty. I don't like it at all. I mean, why do I have to wake up at like 8.30 or 9 a.m. to see someone's face, comb my hair for them, for someone I don't want to see? Why? I'll tell you why. I am just constantly in that meeting at 9 a.m. I've combed for you. I'm listening to you. I'm being patient. And I'm just sitting there. Why could you have not told me all of this on an email? Why did I have to do this meeting for this? I mean, there's just this work from home has just blown up the number of meetings that I have to have. And anyway, tolerating people is hard. It's not easy. So having to go into like 100,000 meetings just sucks. We all just think like, you know, this work from home makes everyone think that we aren't connecting, there's a social distance, let's meet more, let's do this more. But what about people who don't want to meet you? I know you want to meet me. I know that you crave my presence. But I need to keep myself sane, right? And need that distance. It's important. And I mean, a virtual distance is also important. Now, another thing that, you know, this work from home has amplified is this whole happiness quotient. I mean, tell me this, honestly. Every single day I hear from someone, happy Monday, happy Tuesday, happy Wednesday. I, I'm just sitting there like, why are you lying to me? It's not a happy Monday. Mondays aren't happy, neither are Tuesdays, neither are Wednesdays or Thursdays. Why are we feeding ourselves this oxymoronic stuff? I was going to use another term, but stuff. Let's go for stuff. Every day, I mean... I don't think a Monday is ever happy. Let's call it what it is. Dull Monday. Boring Tuesday. I can't think of more. Dull, boring Wednesday. Dull, boring, sad Thursday. Let's call it that. I'll tell you which day of the week is happy. Friday. I don't understand. It's like you have to keep on calling it out that it's a happy Monday. Somehow, you think you're going to prime yourself and my mind to think it's actually happy. It's not. No. Let's just cut the, you know, lies second part of it that's a lie is calling this work from home situation a new normal i don't think this is normal i cannot run to the bathroom immediately when i don't like what someone's saying 
I can't pretend like I'm actually doing something when I'm not. There's so many things. I, no, I don't think it's the new normal. Who are we kidding? Then I'm asked, asked often, why is my camera off? Well, I'll be honest. I have a sheet mask on. I have some kind of stuff from the kitchen, some rice, some, some bananas. I don't know, maybe some people want Maggie. I don't put it. Something on my face. Do you want to scare yourself? No, I'm protecting you. The other is, I'm just not looking good enough. I'm sorry. I'm not ready for that. Now the time is. Why was I wearing these sunglasses? I was wearing these sunglasses to protect myself from the shine that my future is going to bring me. And all the glow up. I'm adequately protected now. So I can go back to the video. Anyway, the other part of the problem is children. Stop imposing children on me. It's like I have to remember each and every one of their names and have this smile plastered on my face throughout the meeting when a child walks in. It is excruciatingly painful. I don't like children. I don't like smiling unnecessarily. I like to save my smile for moments like when I get the best business award. That's when I want to take this baby out. Thank you. When a guy smiles at me and winks at me or compliments me. Thank you. That is when I want to do this. Not a children. Just, I can't deal with the smiling. If my jaws hurt with the fake smiling, stop imposing children on people that don't like them. And you have to pretend like you like them. They're all so cute. They're all so kind and sweet. And everything they do is so nice. Even if they're screaming, burning the house down. Oh, it's okay. Just kids. What's with these fun activities? I just don't get it. My idea of fun looks really, really different than your idea of fun. My idea of fun looks like doing my nails and staring at them. Don't fool me with fun at work. I mean, I don't think you want that. Another thing that I have an issue with, this work from home has blown up the concept of, oh, this is an opportunity for us to bring our whole selves to work. Are you ready for my whole self at work? I don't think you want to see my whole self at work. I'm not... The kind of person who's going to be smiling in my wholeness. I am a wholesome person, but I don't think you want to see that. Do you want to see me talk to you like this? Do you want to see me get annoyed at your kids? Do you want to see me be honest? I just, no. I don't think you're ready for that. No one is. So let's just cut that piece out. Okay, I think I've been talking too much. There's just a lot to cover, guys. So... This might be a series. This might be one of them. This is what I'm feeling these days. And it's been five months since I've worked from home. And I'm bored in the house and I'm in the house bored. Yes, that's what I am. And I am going to now take a leave because I need to sleep or something like Dhwani. And I will see you soon. Before that, you guys know what to do. I don't have to tell you. You have to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I mean, tell me what you think. Whatever you feel. Tell me if you don't like them kids. Tell me if work from home sucks. If you think it's great, tell me right away. Because I want to know why it's great for you. It sucks for me. So please tell me about that. And moreover, something very important towards the end is the fact that I was lying. This is actually what the honey thinks, not me, Coco. I'm kidding, you know, it's Coco's beliefs. This is not Dhwani talking, guys. This is Coco. Dhwani thinks differently. She doesn't think all of this. Guys, I'm kidding. This is Dhwani's view. Guess you'll never know who's talking. Bye.